This is Garanievo or Nebo. And this is the temple that Catholics built. Beautiful, beautiful view. And I want to show you guys how they uh, collect the olives from the trees. Gorgeous. And covered this whole city that was next to, that was built here. Fun fact, anywhere that there's Christian roots, Catholics buy it out and they build um, their temples there.
So today's dinner, dinner, lunch is with a view of all of our group. And it feels so nice. It's like open here. And we're on the roof. Let me show you guys where I'm at. Seth, where are we going right now? I'm in remission, so Seth, like where are we going? Come folks, we're little caves. Look at those realities. So what are these? Shepherds. Shepherds fields. This is where they plant and they have their agriculture of sheep in this cave. The cave where they would have lived, like in Bethlehem. Мама ты видела поля минтянства? Рифлеевская. Рифлеевская. Была здесь. Врача так была за руку. Поля Баузе. Света, что твой любимый пункт? Моя любимая пункт. Честно, это было в Галилеи. Просто понимая, что это действительно место, где Иисус ходил. That's like where he called the storm. That's where he told Peter to throw his nets in on the side. And I just, you read all of that, and it's like in the Bible, but it's, you don't like <laughs> feel it or really connect with it. But being on that sea and seeing how, like, just seeing the sea. thing and teaching that is hidden. The mustard seed you saw how small it is. If you plant it in the rock where it comes from, where it came, this comes from, it will make its way out. If you put it under a huge mountain, it will crawl, it will create a root, the root will produce acids and it will drill by the acids even in the most huge rock and come out to life. In other words, this mustard seed knows no impossible. Everything is possible. And that's the first thing in the faith of man. Whatever is impossible, okay, for man is possible with God. What does that mean? I need faith to encounter that. No impossible. It doesn't know anything. It could not be done. No, it is going to be done. I am coming out of life. Faith is the, actually the root of our growing towards God's will and towards God. Faith is the way, if it's really like this, that makes us encounter the power of God. The other thing it does, it doesn't need any specific soil. It will grow in any kind of soil, if it's rock, if it's sand, if it's red soil, white soil, basil, you name it. And that is one of the crises of believers today that the soil that represents the churches, I don't like this church, I don't like that place, I don't like, it will grow anywhere, okay? And that is important. Faith does 
does not require specific and uh, a specific a, a requirements. Faith will come. The other thing, it doesn't demand much water and caring. It just needs a little bit of humidity and bang. It starts to grow. Okay? It, it doesn't need any attention. And you, you know today, believers want all the pastors to pay attention to them. And this pastor is not good enough. And that pastor is good enough. And all that stuff. Listen, faith does not require anything but believing in God. That's faith. To grow, it doesn't need any attention or anything at all. Just a tiny bit of humidity and there it is. It will grow in the most dry places. You will find this in the heart of the desert. And that symbolizes the Christian who adds color, green, and colors, right, to the dry world. Our world is a desert. And this faith adds beauty and color to it and life. The other thing about the mustard seed that it multiplies tremendously. You saw from one part how many seeds I brought out, right? And if you have faith, you need to multiply, bring other people to the faith, to that life. And that this is the most powerful thing about it, that it multiplies in a tremendous way. If Christians really have faith like that and they multiply like this, I think the whole world would be saved by now. The other thing about mustard seed, it is seen by the farmers of the land of Israel at that time, even today in botanics, it's portrayed as a plant, not as a tree. That's a stigma. But this can grow, not as a plant. Though it is classified as a plant, it will grow like a tree. It doesn't accept any stigmas. And that's one of the most hindering things to our faith, stigmas. You know, it can limit your faith. It, 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 not only stigmas, any report. You know, uh, I remember the woman with the issue of blood, all well, the reports she get, got from, uh, uh, from the doctors and so on, okay? That is another way of looking at it. This tree it doesn't actually accept any stigma, any teaching, any reports. It will grow, and Jesus said, it will become a tree and will become a shelter to the birds. Instead of accepting the stigma that or the report, I am only a plant, no, I am a tree, and it becomes a tree, and I saw so many huge trees of this, that really lots of nests in it, and if you walk even in dry places, you as a human will find yourself under its shadow, finding shelter. So, and this, this mustard seed, actually, the last thing about it I want to mention is the, 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 the keeping, the keeping, its kind, right? It, it, it keeps its kind in a way that it is so unique, it's unique in look, unique in size, unique in, in all its uh, thing. And the most unique thing that it is actually, it re represents, is this is used for medication. It can heal. The mustard seeds and even the plant is used for healing. And faith is the source of all things. Okay? And it keeps that. It's not changing. The weather change is changing. The, 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 the whole atmosphere is becoming more polluted. But this thing is not changing and will not change. No atmosphere can change it. And I hope that our faith will live like that. When I look at that and I look at my faith, I know how much I need to learn and how much I need to train. And believe you me, the more our faith is strong, the more we know God. The more we encounter God is with us. Nothing like anything else. на котором написано
What'd you see there? looking at you then? Yeah. So, we are in Israel and we're going to leave today. But, we couldn't leave without trying to What kind of coffee did you take? I got an iced milk. This is chocolate latte. Same. I've had better. The beans taste worse. Yeah. But 
this chocolate cake, a chocolate brownie, is to die for. That's a carrot cake, and it looks so good. People over there were raving about it. And had a cheesecake. Ты видно видно? А что ты там бачишь? Mom can't see what it says right over there. So she put on glasses, she had those glasses. <laughs> we are finally about to fly out from Tel Aviv to Warsaw. I am excited to go home and I'm excited to see all my family back home. Um, <coughs> the trip wasn't bad, but I got sick the last day with some fever and some sore throat as you guys can tell. So, <laughs> trying not to cough on the airplane. Yay! At least the fever broke at night before the flight. <laughs> Boarding our flight home from Warsaw to Chicago. Yay! We're driving home and we stopped over at this really cute it's, town is called Pontiac, Illinois but their downtown is so cute like their trees are changing colors and the buildings are so pretty but we saw this coffee shop let me show you <laughs> Tanya is here um, but it's um, the town's favorite and I love small local coffee shops and it's so cute because they said it says on here close Saturdays for Sabbath that's really sweet so we're gonna go get some coffee now It's raining outside. <laughs> so we decided in the morning to just grab some coffee. Look how comfy it is. Oh, thank you. Aren't you sweet? I know. Just reading our morning paper. Morning paper.